Here we are aboard the 1975 Chris Craft 33 foot um, flybridge cruiser. Okay, this is the bridge up on top. Got a nice helm seat here, it's a little dirty. And a passenger seat there, needs the cushions. Otherwise, the seat is in very good condition. Uh, all new gauges, everything seems to work uh, correctly. Very nice, actually, uh, night illuminated as well. You get new. Volt gauges, double oil gauges, double temp gauges, double fuel gauges, and of course, tachometers. Here we have the horn for the new horns out there on the bottom. Got a nice Hummingbird 190C depth sounder and the Lawrence GPS. Really nice condition. It's the HDS 5M. Very nice unit. Works very good. Actually, has a lot of tracks in it too from previous uh, journeys, let's say. Here's a um, trim tab control. Works correctly. Here you have a panel with some uh, DC uh, DC controls, and here's the remote for the Sony stereo right here. Also, on the uh, other side, there's the control for the spotlight right here, and a Uniden, Uniden Marine radio, which also works correctly. Right. And there's a bee flying around. Okay, now we go down the ladder. There's large sliding glass doors going into the main salon. Here's the back area. Nice size, could use a paint job. Trim tabs work correctly. The bottom's a little dirty, should be cleaned. Uh, there's a diver that comes locally and does it for about a hundred bucks. Some TV going here, which actually plugs into the stereo. It's a nice uh, AM, FM, Sony CD player with some speakers. Especially some speaker grill covers, but Everything else is there. Uh, here we have the speakers up on the ceiling. They're very nice Kenwood speakers. Nice woodwork done here with LED lights. We have uh, light switches here that'll turn on all these lights, as you can see, and also on the bottom. Okay, it's storage there. This area is about nine feet by eight feet, the salon. Here's your engine hatch cover. This was all covered with a very cheap quality um, carpet which I removed a little recess there for the TV that's my TV in there, it's brand new uh, you could actually plug a TV in there this is an AC-DC TV uh, down in here to your port side there's a little galley um, brand new sink faucet uh, turn on the water here and you can see works great a little light there tells you the water's on and you can shut it off the same way needs countertop uh, laminate it's a brand new piece of wood I don't know why they didn't finish finish it up but it needs that I removed all this um, wall covering here it was a wall covering here that looked like the tin roof stuff it was really ridiculous looking again more uh, LED lights all around they all work correctly in fact I'll turn these on right now you can see all right Need some, you know, paneling work in the back. Everything is solid. Got a nice frigid there, refrigerator, full size with a freezer, and also a fridge. Microwave too. That's a little panel here. All right. Here's your dinette. All right. Everything's there. Another speaker there. Needs a little cover down there to cover these. Um, the storage area here. Now here's the V berth, all upholstered, brand new. I mean, the boat's dirty, it needs a little cleaning. Closets here, bathroom here. Now, there's a door missing on this bathroom here, there's a door missing on this closet here, there's a door missing on this closet. What my intentions were, uh, do these bifold, you know, these accordion doors that they sell at Home Depot and stuff, they're about 25 bucks a piece. Or you could actually go and replace them with the melamine doors like this. This is a sliding door, it's like a pocket door. So this bathroom is accessible from here or from the salon here. I mean, from the uh, V-Birth here, rather. So from the salon and the V-Birth. So it's got two entrances. Real nice. It's got a shower in it. Again, pressure water system works fine in here. Toilet. It goes right out. Um, everything's there. All right. She's a nice boat. Go up the stairs here. I took all the carpeting out from here. It's just wood. So you can either put carpeting in. I was going to put those uh, that laminate uh, flooring in. Again, you know, that's a matter of preference. Here's the 
overview of everything. There's a nice AC unit up here that actually works really, really well. You turn it on this way. I'm, a, I'm, in, I'm plugged into shore power now, so you can see it turns on. All right. Um, walking out, you have the rear section here. Again, this was carpeted. I took the carpeting out. And we'll go up front along the gunnel here. A nice area here you can lay out on. And another skylight here, a little bench area here up front. Nice anchor, a vinyl covered chain, and a spotlight, remote spotlight, which works correctly. All right. 33 foot boat. I believe this was the Catalina. They, would, they call this boat a Catalina, but I think it's listed as a 33-foot express flybridge cruiser. Twin 350s. Um, I'll look for another video on the engine, but the engines run fine. And twin 350s with quadrajet carburetors. Step off the boat. A little garbage here. And there it is. Good looking boat. Nice and sporty looking, 1975. It's a nice buy. Any questions? 239-645-6200.